In Chapter 5, we will look at relationships in triangles, and we'll start with Section 5.1, Mid-Segments of Triangles. A mid-segment is a segment connecting the midpoints of two sides. So in our triangle on the right, if we're told that points D and E are midpoints, then we could say that side DE is a mid-segment of triangle ACB. The triangle mid-segment theorem says if a segment joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, then the segment is parallel to the third side and half its length. So again, referring to our triangle, we could say that DE is parallel to BC and that DE would be equal to one half of BC's length. Let's look at some examples of using the triangle mid-segment theorem. In number one, it says in triangle EFG, H, J, and K are midpoints. Find H, J, J, K, and F, G. So we're looking for the lengths of our missing segments. Well, starting with H, J, so H, J is the mid-segment right here that is parallel to the line segment E, G. So if it's parallel to E, G, that means that H, J is half the length of E, G, or half of 100, which is 50. So HJ is 50. Then we see that JK is parallel to EF, so that means that it is half its length. So JK will be equal to half the length of EF, which is half of 60, or 30. And then finally, we want to find the length of FG. Well, HK is parallel to FG. HK is half of FG. But since we know HK and we don't know FG, we could also say that FG is equal to 2 times HK. So FG is 2 times 40, or 80. So our line segments of the triangle will be twice as big as our mid-segments that they are parallel to. Okay, number two, it says triangle XYZ, M, N, and P are midpoints. The perimeter of triangle M, N, P is 60. We want to find N, P, Y, X, Y, Z, and X, Z. Okay, well, first off, my mid-segments M, P, and M, N are marked. I know my perimeter is 60, so for right now I'm going to call N, P, X, and if I want to find what X is, or NP, um, we'll just add up all our sides, and it has to equal 60. Um, so let's combine like terms. So I get 14, so it tells me NP is 14. Now, once I know all the lengths of my mid-segments, I can just double their side to get the length of the line segment that they're parallel to. So NP is parallel to XY, so that means, or YX, either order, YX will be 2 times 14, or 28. MP is parallel to YZ, so YZ will be twice the length of MP, or twi 2 times 22, 44. And then finally, MN is parallel to XZ, so XZ 
will be twice the length of mn, so 2 times 24, or 48. So the mid-segment is half the length of the line segment is parallel to in the tr big triangle, or you could think that the line segment in the big triangle is twice as big as the mid-segment it is parallel to. Okay, let's look at two more examples in this section. Number three says in triangle D, E, F, A, B, and C are midpoints. Name all pairs of parallel segments. So let's start with mid-segment A, B. Well, mid-segment A, B is parallel to line segment D, F. Okay, I'm going around our smaller triangle, mid-segment B, C, is parallel to line segment ED. And finally, mid segment AC is parallel to line segment EF. Okay, and we're all done with that one. Not too bad. A number four says find the measure of angle AMN and the measure of angle ANM. Justify your answer. So those two angles are in our smaller triangle, triangle AMN. And if you notice, we have an isosceles triangle. So that tells me these two angles will be congruent because my sides are congruent. Then if I look at triangle ABC, I also notice I have an isosceles triangle. So if angle B is 75 degrees, angle C is 75 degrees. So to find angle A, I can take 180 minus 75 and then minus 75. So I'm taking the total my angles will add up to and subtracting the two I know. So angle A is 30 degrees. I'll just mark that in my figure. Well, going back to our smaller triangle A and M, angle A is also part of that triangle and it'll be 30 degrees. So if I wanted to find the measure of angle AMN, I could take 180 minus angle A, I get 150, but then I need to divide by two because I have two base angles and they are congruent. So I end up getting that angle AMN is 75 and angle ANM is also 75 degrees. So we see that our base angles in both triangles are the same. Um, and the reason for this is because they are isosceles triangles. Okay, and that concludes section 5.1, mid-segments of triangles.